Well, back here in the States, the top Republican candidates looking to push past former President Trump in the polls, and they're traveling across Iowa this weekend in a bid to try to shore up some more votes a little over a month away from the caucuses. Nikki Haley hosting a town hall in Sioux City. Vivek Ramaswamy has a series of events in eastern Iowa. And Ron DeSantis, he is making a stop in West Des Moines. And correspondent Emily Fenn is live for us there outside of that DeSantis venue. Uh, Emily, what can we expect? Hey, Nicole, great to be with you today. Well, what we can expect is we will see DeSantis trying to uh, vie for votes in the Hawkeye State. He's definitely been prioritizing Iowa. Uh, hit, hit the ground running here right after our News Nation GOP primary debate wrapped up. Uh, it's pretty interesting. DeSantis has been touching on a wide range of key issues at these events. His, uh, his message appears to be resonating with voters. He said that if he is elected, the first thing that he would do as president, his number one priority is to secure the border. He wants to use the U.S. military to eliminate the Mexican drug cartels. We're going to declare the border to be a national emergency on day one. We're going to send military. We're going to stop the invasion. Uh, we're going to send the people back who came illegally. And we're going to hold the Mexican drug cartels accountable. Voters at the DeSantis event yesterday told us that the governor's prior military experience, he's the only one out of the remaining GOP field to have served. They said that that sets him apart when it comes to his plans to tackle foreign policy. One thing I love about him is he's the only one running with any military experience. And to a lot of the people that have served, it's, you know, we need someone like that that understands foreign policy a lot better with everything going on in the Middle East and across the world right now. So with just six weeks until the primary season kicks off, DeSantis is clearly seeing an avenue to victory by vying for votes in the Hawkeye states. The Florida governor has been slowly closing that gap between him and former President Trump's massive lead in the polls. He's actually been able to climb about four points in recent weeks, touting his record in Florida on economic growth and combating so-called wokeism. At our News Nation GOP primary debate this week, DeSantis spoke about prioritizing these early voting states. I'm looking forward to, to Iowa and New Hampshire. The voters are going to be able to speak, and we're going to earn this nomination. And here's what we need. Uh, I am sick of Republicans who are not willing to stand up and fight back against what the left is doing to this country. You've got to be willing to stand strong, and you've got to be willing to beat these people. I'm the only one running for president that has beaten these people on issue after issue. And we are also keeping a close eye on the RNC today. They're holding a vote uh, to determine whether or not they're going to uh, approve of these unsanctioned debates. Uh, those are coming up in January. Um, and so what we know about this, uh, we're getting so close to the kickoff of the primary. So the requirements for the candidates to actually make it on that debate stage are going to be stricter, which means that we may see a one-on-one -on -one face off between Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis in the near future, Nicole. Yeah, we certainly uh, may see that. All right, Emily Finn, live for us there in Iowa. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.